up guys welcome to chef Vic and today episode on simple and delicious breakfast is that a cool little um, I call it potato grenade <laughs> it sounds funny but just because they're like more round it's a uh, soft boiled egg peel it wrap it around with a delicious uh, mashed potato uh, like thing that has like bell pepper salt and pepper all the good stuff wrap around bread it and deep fry it. It's almost like a scotch egg, which is a uh, boiled egg that's wrapped around the sausage and bread it as well and deep fry it. But instead of the sausage, it would be a nice, delicious um, potato. So I hope you guys enjoy this nice, cool, simple, and delicious breakfast episode. So let's get started, my friends. Alright guys, so to start off this beautiful breakfast item, uh, we're going to cut some, at least about five peeled potatoes. Just going to make that. Just keep cutting them. Don't cut yourself. Just like so. See, this dish is good for uh, if you have leftovers, uh, mashed potatoes. Come like that. Place them in the pot. You do want a lot of potatoes for this. Well, not kind of, but this a lot. So you mash it and mix it up so you could wrap the potato around that egg. Just like that. Alright guys, so the next up you want to put the pot here. Turn on the heat. Now I like to season my potatoes. So let's put a little bit of salt in there. Also makes it easier to season later on. Just like so. So you're gonna let this boil to become fork tender, nice and soft, so we can mash it up to make a nice delicious mashed potato to wrap around that beautiful egg. Alright guys, so while the mashed potatoes are working, or I mean potatoes are getting nice and soft and tender, now off to the eggs. So I'm using these eggs right here, they are organic cage free um, birds and stuff, uh, chickens. Um, these eggs are really good, brown eggs. There really is no difference between brown eggs and blah 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 blah, that's really, that's really not that much difference. Um, but. So I'm gonna put in the water. Right now I got water boiling, nice simmer. You don't want a raffle boil because sometimes the the uh, roughness of the water will make your egg crack. So and then you start seeing like white pus that you're not pus out like come out of the other side and it doesn't look pretty. But what you want is to get a nice mesh or any what's called a spider, the little mesh thing for the thing. Place your egg right on top. Place your egg in the water and boil it for five minutes. That's going to give you a nice runny yolk. On the same time, give you a nice, perfect cooked white um, egg white. All right, guys. So I'm going to place the eggs in the water. I think I could get away with putting two at a time. Get your timer ready. Once you put these eggs in, slowly let them go like that. Um, it may look like it's gonna not cover the eggs, but it's gonna, water's gonna cover it. See, I already kind of cracked one. It's okay. It's all good. All right, so start your timer for five minutes, and then we're gonna put them in an ice bath to cool them down. Potatoes nice and cooked. And to this, we're gonna add 
A couple tablespoons of butter. Of course, we're gonna add some more salt to this. A little salt. Some fresh cracked pepper. And then we're gonna add just a dash of Cajun seasoning. So probably like at least a couple of teaspoons or so. And some garlic. Powder. And then we're gonna mash this up to smooth. About a quarter of each of a red bell and a green bell pepper. Boy, you guys, you can smell this. It smells great. Now, they're finely minced, so small, small pieces of bell pepper. Now, the reason why you want it small is not only because, so you could smash and all that, but the heat of the mashed potatoes are going to make it kind of slightly cook them a little bit, kind of draw out their flavor. All right, my friends, peel the eggs. I'm good. Now it's time to put this guys together. I put a lid on my mashed potatoes because they get crumbly and stuff like that, so you keep them hot. By covering them, that will keep them moist and more pliable. All right, so these are a little tricky. So, you wanna gather them up as a bowl and make like a little well. Like that. Cause you wanna encase that egg. Like so. Put the egg in there. Start forming it around your egg. Like so. See that? My hands making these things. So, you're gonna grab a little ball, like so. And then, kind of pat it, like you're making meatball. Kind of pat it around, roll it, fit. By doing that, slap it on your hand, it flattens out the bottom. And then with your thumb or fingers, make a little well, almost like a nest. You're making a nest for your egg. This is almost the same method you will make, you do for you guys' scotch eggs. And those will come soon. Place your little egg in the nest and then kind of push up over the egg like so so it encases the egg you don't want to see no egg you see no you see egg or mash more mashed potatoes or something because you gotta cover that all right my friends so now you don't want to start like your typical uh flour egg and breadcrumbs tie right tell you why um, you do flour it's gonna instantly dry out your potato and it's gonna start to crack and fall apart in your hands but when you start with the wet it kind of moistens it keeps it together and then you can add the breadcrumbs but don't worry though breadcrumbs will dry out slightly like a normal bread so believe it or not you can actually do this pie a couple hours in advance even by a day just keep them covered, make sure they're nice and cool first, cover them, put them in your fridge, and then next morning you can start battering them up and fry them up. Um, that'd probably be ideal because the potato will create a nice crust around it so it'd be easy to handle. You guys, around the egg wash. Drain, roll it 
into the breadcrumbs. Now, the breadcrumbs I'm using is panko, that is just a regular panko, and then I'm using Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. The reason why I chose to do that, do a 50 50 on it, because it gives you different textures and flavor. Breadcrumbs, uh, panko is more coarse, it will give you that beautiful, crunchy texture. Italian breadcrumbs is more fine, but also has that beautiful herb notes to it. All right, my friends. So I got my oil tent around 350, 360. Now you don't have to worry about burning it. You're just looking for a nice golden brown color for these guys, um, because you're not really cooking anything like meat, like the scotch egg. Scotch egg, I highly just cooking at low temp a little bit, just so it cooks the sausage. In that case, is this literally just potato, so you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure never overcrowd your uh, pot, especially with hot oil. And also don't fill up your oil too much so it overflows and catch on fire. Just be safe, my friends. So in the mesh. There we go. Beautiful. I got a spoon right here. Let's make sure it doesn't so stick to the bottom. And I'm gonna put one more in there. I say my pocket handle too. There we go. So this will probably take at least probably like two minutes or so just because of how heat of heat. This is where you put whole item into this. You know, cool down your oil so that's why you don't overcrowd your oil. Because the more you add all at once, one, your risk of catching on a fire because it overflows. Secondly, it will cool down your oil. So one one of your last place you put your last thing in there, that will get soggy. So just be careful. Take your time. This is a, I already see this coloring beautifully. Look at that. A little more, a little more, my friend. And of course, the number one rule of any uh, fry item, you like to season it with salt. Look at that, my friend. So nice and crispy, I'm gonna leave it at that. Strain, like so. Nice season with salt. All right, my friends. That's how they look fried. Got my little rack here. So, let's play. Hope you guys enjoy that. It looks so good. So, I'm gonna take one of these guys. Give it a little chef taste test here. Sorry for being noisy. So, I do have to be honest. I did do the five minutes with the eggs. Hey, it was working against me. So, I cooked them a little longer. The next batch I did, it, it was uh, seven minutes. So, seven minutes. Be an excellent choice. But I tell you, my friends, this is not rubbery rump a bit. It's very soft, very delicious. And it's so for a That is good. I will say I messed up. All I know, I know she did. I should make some gravy, my friends. Some delicious country gravy over this. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, it'd be good. It, it, it reminds me so much of. Uh, we have breakfast like hash browns or even country potatoes with like scrambled egg. You always get a little scrambled egg, live with the potatoes. 
can eat it like it, it tastes like that. It's literally that wrapped into one and a ball. <laughs> so good. The peppers really brightens up. It still has some form of a perfectly cooked vegetable in there. You can taste the seasoning, the seasoning works well. Very delicious. You won't be disappointed with this, my friends. Very delicious. It's very pleasing to see that. It's like, ooh, what the hell is that? You know? <laughs> but it's really good, my friends. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I, I really hope you do. So, this is very delicious. Again, all it needs is gravy. So, maybe, maybe next video I'll probably should make three types of sauces hollandaise, country gravy, and stuff like that. But trust me, my friends, you would not be disappointed. That's like a Cuban influence style of way of doing it. Maybe not 100% like it, but it's influence of the idea of making this. So my friends, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you guys uh, like this really that much, please hit that like. It lets me know if you guys want me to keep making more of these type of videos. If you guys are new to my channel, my friends, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe to join Chef Vic's family and hit that bell to notify you guys of upcoming new videos. <sighs> this is good. I, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> so stay safe out there, guys. And I will see you guys next time on Simple and Delicious 